thanks for tuning in to listening to me talk to myself previewing the Chelsea game on Sunday. Another two o'clock kickoff for the Blues at Stamford Bridge. Um, obviously similar to the Manchester United game because of Chelsea's cup obligations in the week just gone. Um, a 2 0 win against Liverpool, as I'm sure. Everyone that watches the video will know goals coming from William and a certain Ross Barkley. Uh, good performance by all accounts by Chelsea, um, who are currently sitting fourth in the, in the league, obviously in that pole position for Champions League places. But given how tight the point difference is in, how tight the point difference is amongst the clubs vying for European places, um, Three points for the Blues here, that being Everton, could again really put us in contention. Um, still bitterly disappointed following the VAR controversy against Manchester United, similar to that against Newcastle at home. Uh, I know the Newcastle draw was of our own fault and our own capitulation, but the Manchester United game... You know, if we if Everton go on to win that two one, we're in a much better position than we are now. Again, we're we're in eleventh as we were going into that Manchester United game, um, and uh, as Carlo Ancelotti said recently in the week, amongst complimenting Bootlestrand, that he really does see Everton competing for Champions League places soon, which I'm sure Evertonians will. Be delighted to hear that come coming from a man of that caliber. I really do think, for that to to come out of his mouth, then listen. It it could just be blowing smoke. Obviously, he's the man in the hot seat at the moment. And I, I was out last night speaking to a Chelsea fan, and first thing he said, "Oh, you've got one of the best managers in the world." Um, and that seems to be the the button to press when talking about Everton, particularly. For the outsiders is that oh Ancelotti this Ancelotti that but part of me does feel that for Carlo Ancelotti obviously former Chelsea manager who won them an FA Cup and league double in his time there to say that about Everton Football Club at this moment in time does fill me with some sort of hope um, obviously we've got to abide within the financial fair play regulations and whatnot um, especially when it comes to player recruitment, which we haven't exactly done ourselves any favours with in recent years. But for Ancelotti to say, yeah, we should be vying for Champions League places, not just Europe, Champions League, um, as I say, fills me with hope. Just to go back to Chelsea and reel off the team that they played against Ch uh, Liverpool in the week. Kepa in goal at the back, Aspilicueta, Rudiger, Certain Kurt Zuma, Marcus Alonso, Ross Barkley, Billy G Billy Gilmore, the young lad who had who finished the game man of the match, Mateo Kovacic, who scored his first Premier League goal against Everton in that two one win at Goodison Park, uh, William the other goal scorer, Giroud and Pedro. So, although Chelsea seem to be going into this game with a hatful of injuries and whatnot, still a very strong selection of players for Frank Lampard to choose from. Everton, of course, going into this, buoyed by the recent contract renewals of Mason Holgate and Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who have both extended their stays, well, you'd like to think, until 2025. Calvert-Lewin obviously, obviously is still in white-hot form. I think he's got eight goals in his last 10 league appearances under Ancelotti, which I said previously in my last podcast appearance. I do feel like now he is that Lukaku replacement. Uh, Terry sort of group Richarlison in with that, saying that we are now getting the that, that goal tally provided through the front two, which I, I would agree with to, to some extent, but just to see the... You know the player development of Dominic Calvert Lewin in such a short period of time since that December turnaround since Ancelotti's come in has been a joy to watch. Um, 
it needs to be said too that following his red card against Manchester United after the final whistle, which I I think a lot of people would agree, I don't think his conduct was improper in any way. He uh, Carlo Ancelotti has just paid the fine, which was an eight thousand pound fine, I believe, and will not be receiving a touchline ban. So Although we did think it would be Duncan Ferguson on the touchline, he will be joined by Carlo Ancelotti. Uh, it would have been quite poetic, I feel, given the appointment of Duncan Ferguson for that home game against Chelsea, which were, could, I mean, in the comments, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but come the end of this season, I feel like that Chelsea home game will be, you know, will epitomise this season as a whole and um, be very symbolic in that we we it was the catalyst for the fans to see the Everton that they know and love. Um and you'd like to think that sort of fight and that desire will transfer to Stamford Bridge coming up on Sunday. So fingers crossed, because as I say, three points, although it is a you know, it is a hard task at Stamford Bridge. We haven't won there in the league since ninety four, if I'm not wrong. So three points there would put us right back in the mix, I feel, for those European spots. Um, but being in 11th, we are kind of, we're at the, you know, we're at the hands of, of other teams and dependent on other teams on dropping points, which isn't ideal. But we can only do what we can do. And given the recent form of, of the lads, Apart from that defeat at Arsenal, you know, it, you're filled with optimism now that we can go to these places and give the better teams in the league a game. So, thanks for tuning in to this preview and come on, you blues. Oh, no,